So basically, all the components are there. So okay, for now, I want to hide. I want to hide the core, the parts, and the inspector panel. Since I have all the all the components required, okay. So I will hide window parts window inspector, okay. Right, okay. I want to mount the first of all. You have to check. Uh, you have to check. What are you going to do? Which one of you the layout first? Uh? Okay. So I want to focus on first thing first. The connection for this. Okay. Okay. I hope you can see this very clearly. <coughs> right, if you look at the schematic layout, this IC is 7.00, 14 pin, okay, 14 pin. Okay, so I will focus on the layout design for the left side here the left side here how to do the layout design for the left side here okay so basically i need the ic to go in first to so rotate identify where is a pin one there. rotate rotate clockwise 90 degrees Okay, ensure you have the pin one correctly. So this is my pin one. Here my pin one. Okay, you are able to zoom in and out by I just scroll on the mouse. Uh. Can zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so our position. Okay, somewhere there. Okay, temporarily I position here. Okay. So my IC, okay, the IC, 7.00, and I will take one of them here to, to be the fiber temporarily, and this one temporarily position here for the ground, okay, for the ground. Okay, now I'm focusing on this part here, okay, from pin number one, from pin number one. So if you look at the breakboard, okay, once you have this mounted, okay, that means this whole row, this strip are all connected. Okay, same as here. I position here, that means all the strip are connected. Okay, so that is to say if there's a current flow, the current will be able to flow along the strip here. Okay, so same as here. Okay, along here. So in between the IC, pin 1 and pin 14, you need to cut. Okay, you have to cut uh, in between. Okay, because the uh, copper strip is going through. Okay, when you do the layout, okay, this layout will be mounting components on the component side. Uh, okay, the track is supposed to be behind. All these tracks are supposed to be behind. Uh, okay, just, uh, so this board is just like a see-through. Uh, okay, so you're going to mount the components on the component side. So uh, the strip, copper, copper, this all this one will be behind at the bottom. Okay. So I have my 5 volt. Okay. So if I want to bring my 5 volt over, my 0 volt. Okay. All these things I bring over first to the top so you can see clearer. Okay. Right. So my five volt temporarily. If I need to reposition later, I can do so. My zero volt temporarily. Okay. Five volt line. Zero volt line. 
Alright, look at this uh, layout again. Schematic. So from pin number one, from pin number one, the R1 go to the supply line. So my R1 is this 15k. Uh. Okay. So right click, rotate 90 degrees. Alright, in facing the components leg, uh, you can extend. Uh. You can extend. You can extend. Okay. And you can bend also. You can bend. You can bend. Okay. So if I am able to do this, that means uh, I can reduce the number of jumper wires. Okay. So I take. Uh, Check whether can reach. Okay, pin number one. From pin number one goes to supply line. Okay, so later if you need to go bring down this line, this uh, voltage line, you can do so uh, temporarily. I, I leave it like that. Okay, from pin number one goes to supply line. Or you think you want to reposition, uh, make space, also can. Okay. Okay, next. From pin number one, the diode day one. Okay. The anode will go to pin number one, the diode cathode will connect, D1 will connect to the anode of D2, which will end up at pin number two. So if I have this, I have two options. I can bring it up from pin number two. Okay. Okay, I can go up and later D2 will come down go to pin number 2 or, or I want to bring it down okay. so pin number 1 I bring it down and not to make my work easier I bring it down Okay, from pin number one, go out, and the diode, one more diode, it will turn back, Okay, if you look uh, from the anode at pin 1, D1 cathode goes to the anode of D2. The anode of D2 which goes back to pin number 2. Go back to pin number 2. Okay, so I satisfy this layout. And pin number 2, there's a resistor 2.2 kilo ohm that goes to the ground. So I need to get a 2.2 resistor. 2.2 kilo ohm. We rotate 90 degrees from pin number two. Okay, I can have it there. Okay, pin number seven of the IC is go to ground. So I will connect my ground over there. So this will be, this will be black color. Okay. So I have finished uh, this part here. The layout for this part. Okay. The layout for here. Okay. So you can counter check. Pin number one, R1 goes up to supply line. And from pin number one, D1. Okay. D1. It goes up or down 
and meet with the anode of D2 back to pin number 2 back to pin number 2 and from pin number 2 the resistor R2 which goes to the ground okay I connect to pin number 7 of the IC which also connect to the ground okay so one more wire I will connect uh, okay for now for now I may want to connect here a supply line so basically wire color will be red okay red okay pin 14 pin 14 supply line red goes to 5 volt okay i have finished this part here okay but if you look over here pin number two finish and uh, again okay for this connection pin number 12 and 13 go to pin number one 12 and 13 go to pin number 1 A 12 and 13 A 12 and 13 A connect to A for jumper I will use different color A with blue color A so I'll connect to pin number 1 A so you can count the check pin number one connect to pin number one connect to 12 and 13 okay so i finish this part okay 12 and 13 and if you observe over here number nine number 10 connected and connect to pin number 11 okay number nine Number 10 is here. Okay, 8, 9, 10. Okay, number 9 and 10. This uh, join to number 11. Okay, so I have finished this part here. This part here. And over if you look at this box here, okay, number 3 connect, pin number 3 connect to pin number 4. So pin number 3, okay, pin number 3. Okay, pin number three. You want to put the same, you may do so, or you can shift. Uh, I made an error over there. Uh, wait, uh, I can check later. Uh, this part here has an error. It's supposed to be pin number one. Okay. So if I want to move up, uh, okay. Okay. So you can come to check pin number one. Okay. Go to 12 and 13. Okay. 9, 10, 11 shorted. Okay. Okay. I finish this part. Okay. This part. Okay. What else at the IC that need to be shorted? Okay. Number five and number eight. Number five connect to number eight. Okay. Number five. Where is my number five? Number five is here. Number eight is here. Okay, so number eight. I'll bring it down and to okay. Okay, number five. Correct to number eight. So finish that part. Okay, this this part. So all the connection over this side. Over this side, I have completed okay, all the connection for this side. Okay, okay I miss out the probe. Okay, this probe, this probe is uh, at the meeting place at the two points. There's a, anode, a cathode of D1 and anode of D2 met. So I will put my probe temporarily at this position. Okay, so these two, the anode and the cathode here meet, the anode and the cathode here meet, so the probe will be at this line, okay, the probe. Okay, okay these are all the design layout for this part here. Okay.